I'm historian Richard Offen, and today I'm with the team in Kalamunda, and we're here to explore the rich history of the place, and particularly the Kalamunda Hotel. The stimulus for the settlement in the area, which is now the Shire of Kalamunda, was provided by the vast Jarrah forests of the Darling Range. As the timber began to be harvested, settlers began to move into the area. In 1901, the town of Kalamunda was laid out and the road parallel to the recently built railway line was named Railway Road and designated the main town street. Now, every town needs a pub, so it's not really surprising that the second brick building in Kalamunda was this one behind me. The pub opened in June of 1902 and was described by the local paper as being quiet, clean, comfortable, and with an excellent table, which means the grub was good. From the outset, the hotel became the social hub of the community and even had the local council's notice board in the bar where everyone could see it. In the early days, they even used to have log chopping competitions out in front of the pub. And these were sponsored by the landlord, Charles Hummerston, who I think knew where good beer sales came from. Passengers on the trains at the station opposite the hotel also used to benefit from the hospitality of this place when the engine had to have a refill of water. They came in here, had a drink, and when it was time to go, the engine driver would toot toot the whistle and they'd get back on the train. In about 1927, the Kalamunda Hotel was purchased by Patrick Paddy Connolly, who built a new hotel alongside the original building. After the new hotel's opening in 1928, the combined buildings could accommodate 50 guests. The extension of this hotel was probably driven by the fact that in the 1920s, Kalamunda was being publicised as a health resort and people were flocking here from the city. And of course, the Kalamunda Hotel was the place to stay. Like many hotels and inns around the world, the Kalamunda Hotel has a reputation for being haunted. According to some, a little girl wanders the hotel corridors carrying a life-size rag doll. It is also said that Paddy Connolly, always one for the ladies, managed to get a young woman pregnant. She subsequently committed suicide by jumping off the hotel balcony and her ghost has been seen in the building. Today, the venue is locally run and dedicated to providing good quality food and service. The menus offer a wide selection of traditional pub grub, beers, wines and spirits. Here you can catch up with a game in the sports bar or just catch up with friends for a quiet drink in a pleasant and historic surrounding.